Hello, and welcome to the Product Tech Lab. We're excited to have you here and look forward to helping you bring your product ideas to life. We are providing the solution, Magical Cloud Solution, the invisible shield of protection, cybersecurity. Virtualize like a pro with Product Tech Lab. Application support. Call to backup infrastructure. Blaby and training facility. Technical innovation and idea. Need more scoop on our tech savvy services? Drop us a line at support at producticlab.com or zip over to our website https colon slash slash www.productechlab.com. Pust. We're also big shots on YouTube. Find us at youtube.com slash at productechlab and let's be friends. Thank you from Producticlin and more detail please mail us. Hi friends, uh, welcome to the Productic Lab once again. So this chapter is for Kubernetes. So this is the first chapter of the Kubernetes. So Kubernetes is simplicity if I say what is Kubernetes? This is the first question. It's like uh, what is Kubernetes? This is the first question. What is Kubernetes? This is the first question. Kubernetes means if you deploy any kind of applications, okay. So you can if you deploy in this your uh, a server, just not application, it is a server, okay. And you can access this application from outside, okay. But one thing there is if you have one application you have one application so you have one application that can be deployed over this and that can be accessed from the internet but Kubernetes is if you have a one box okay you can deploy multiple applications in your box all are can be accessed to access from the internet that's called Kubernetes. This is a benefit also. Okay. So now, if we say, uh, if we say the any kind of uh, root, uh, um, so how to practice, how to in production environment introduce to Kubernetes. I think in Kubernetes is like a few things is there like. Uh, if you practice in your home, so you can use a mini cube. Uh, so mini cube. This is one of the functionality. You can practice over this. In production environment, you can use Kubernetes cluster. So we are completely focusing about Kubernetes cluster. So we should uh, very clearly understand about the uh, in the production environment, how does it works and all these things. Okay. So if we go to the that particular Kubernetes cluster, so what does it mean Kubernetes cluster? Kubernetes cluster basically minimum uh, requirement what we have required. Okay. So suppose we have a server, another server, there is another server, okay, and another server is there, okay. And there is my internet connections, okay. And this internet connection under this Docker container. I told I tell you what is the functionality of Docker container. So this server is a master. This is for your worker. Suppose this is worker one, this is a worker. Two and this is a Docker server. Okay. Just put S. 
why this docker server is required and what is a worker to worker one is required if you, you can add another worker mission this is depends on no? this is a minimum criteria of this governance in production environment and all are connected to the same land or different land but need to be pingable and it will be reachable is required and all the machine connected over the internet and docker should be reachable from this because this master can control all the servers okay and docker can perform the build an image build an image this docker access to the internet push this waste to the docker container and worker what you uh, and uh, master says this image master says this image we can build from the docker container so what will be happen master says if you have as example product tech lab product tech lab image in the docker container okay and this docker container reply this worker okay and pull this image in worker and build this image in worker then you can access this product tech lab app so what is the functionality docker it is using only for building this application because in kubernetes it's completely depends on docker so what happened master says any kind of application is required so you just pull it from the docker okay worker that will no master says to worker okay master says to worker please pull this image xyz app or abc app or product lab app from the docker how to build this product lab app from this docker container clear so that's why docker is required that's why this docker container is required that's why this all the information to put from uh, from uh, take the information from the docker container that's why internet also is required clear okay great so now i want to show you one thing this is for the basic fundamental okay so if we go if we go so that part like um, if we docker container okay and that when if i create the master node master node okay few of this api has been called api okay api call like one for the networking okay one for the services one for the image builder okay so this type of api is required as you see this master communicate to the all the workers okay and uh, this worker completely one networking part this is con control over this api this is services master says take the services and the worker says okay so all the information take from this this is a benefit about it this is the api is required for it okay so if some so you can add the as production environment if the master has a uh, active okay standby mode and there is a multiple workers like three four cluster is deployed okay so this is the things kubernetes major benefit so in architectural wise if you see okay architectural wise if you see that in legacy and kubernetes what is the difference i want to tell again when I, when I start the classes so i told you what is the benefit of the kubernetes and what is the kubernetes functionality again i'm telling you what is the simplicity what is the benefit of the kubernetes is most important so legacy we have one application like xyz okay for you have deployed one server this xyz deploy the server there is one service like e2 or 443 just one application can be deployed and one services can be accessed to the server but in kubernetes you can one server just one cluster you can say and also in the legacy part you can also these servers goes down in another server same thing replicate and same service so for particular application two server we are hosting 
and there is a one server purpose you can use but there is one server multiple application you can host it and if it is active standby mode so that is not an issue that can be replicated to this your secondary devices secondary servers so this is master so in Kubernetes master control all the workers that's clear okay all the worker node 1 worker node 2 okay and this worker where can it be the worker uh, how to take the image from the docker container and docker server is required for the image builder okay master complete these things so i'll show the few of the things now okay so this is basically uh, for how to uh, this which type of uh, api is working which type of things is working okay so still online um, if i open it so this is q1 master just a minute work on recent master cool this is my master node so sudo hyphen i put it okay q ctl get nodes hyphen o y so as you see there is uh, two master node that means sorry one master node two worker node is there okay so if we can do it for this okay we can do it for this that means there is in my environment if i say the in my, in my environment let me open up the epic pen Okay. In my environment, we can see there is one for the master mode. Okay, one for the master mode. Just to let me change this thing. Yeah. One for the master node, one for the worker node one, one for the worker node. Clear? So this is the things. So we can understand all of this. So now I want to show you I want to show you Q C T M Git um pods what is the pods functionality this is most important okay right okay pods is kind of content okay pods is basically like a container so pods means if we depend if we create the pods okay so if we build one application okay so that time this container is required Container means or application informations. Okay, so what that means if you build this application from worker just like worker w o r k e r worker build an application. This application build a pod. Okay, pod create a container. Okay, pod makes the container for this application. So this is the application we have. So, if application has been created, you can see this is the IP address. This IP address is in my, it's not in my lab. This is basically happened from the your API networking. I told you API networking in this chapter. So, this is the worker node. You can see that which nodes has been deployed this application. Okay. So, listed as things you can see, age you can see it. Okay. Status you can see it. Okay. So, this is the information. So now, once the pod has been created, pod has been created, just in, uh, let's assume pods created, okay. So now this pod created, so how to access these pods? Suppose this is the users, okay, this is the users connect to internet and this pod need to be accessed from the users. That time is coming the services. Okay, that time is coming the services. 
services looks like if I put the services command okay uh, cube CTL get services I feel no I feel right see this is services services is basically mentioned which IP address that can you can access like this is the external IP address if I access this service okay it's like if I access these things okay so I can easily if I access this put this IP address that I can access these things okay if I put this IP address I can access these things this is the port number okay this is my this is the port number okay the port number 443 is the port number okay so all the port number which port that means if I put the HTTP colon double first slash 192.168.56.225 that means this application hosted with that name this is my colleague or Pita okay so that can be open the page okay this is put in some of the worker okay some of the worker has been uh, deployed this image okay and port number is 80 so that's why this is HTTP if it is 443 so that time is required the HTTP S okay so now clear okay okay so uh, now if I see the how many APIs are that part okay so here QCTL QCTL uh, security common is get all I should know why okay so get all means your pods your services sort of everything you can show me okay cool okay well uh if I put Q CTL get P O I find A well, that's the system, that's the thing I want to show you. This is basically your API. Okay. API means if you look uh, if you look that part, okay, calico. This is calico using it for the networking. This is for the networking. Okay. In my lab, I have no 10 series IP address, okay, but we get the IP address. So if you see the pods. Cube CTL, Cube CTL, get pods, I find no, I find white, so I can see it. This is a default namespace, and you can see a few of these my applications. And this is Cube system, this is all the information. So, from the API, we can go, uh, get it from the uh, worker node. So, what happens is worker nodes completely working from this API. Yeah, so that's the API is required. Command is Cube CTL, get PO, get uh, I find no, I find it. QCTL get PO hyphen okay so this is a namespace namespace nothing namespace means suppose if you build an app okay so where it can be storage okay so app names is xyz okay so you can create one xyz namespace okay so you can see it okay. so there's a namespace is working okay this is a status okay this is a running this is a crash loop back crash loop back means this is something problem this is different Okay, this is a restart. The what? How many times? I think what is the timing? It's uh, restarted that part. And what is the age that was built? It 64 days ago. Okay, cool. So uh, that's all. This is the basic information about the Kubernetes. Uh, I will see the next chapter of the Kubernetes. Okay. So take care and goodbye.